After years of leaks, speculation and wishful thinking on behalf of those who are not thrilled about giving Facebook their money, Apple's first step into the VR world has finally been taken. The Vision Pro headset took center of stage at Apple's WWDC keynote Monday, promising deep integration with the Apple's ecosystem and a serious charge into the world of gaming. In an effort to draw focus from this announcement, Meta's own Mark Zuckerberg took to Instagram a few days ago to tease a new generation of the most popular VR headset currently available, dubbed the Meta Quest 3. The announcement was light on details but promised two things Meta has become well known for. The Meta Quest 3 will be relatively inexpensive and will be supported by a massive and growing ecosystem. If both of these headsets were sitting side by side on a shelf and you could only choose one, which should you buy? Here is what we know so far and how to make the best decision for your needs. Let's talk about the hardware. When it comes to face computers and there are three things that matter more than anything, the headset needs to be comfortable to wear for as many as different kinds of people as possible. The battery needs to last long enough to in actually enjoy your time in the headset and it needs to have a processor capable of delivering a smooth overall experience. Comfortable is by far the most important and in that regard Meta has a lot more experience and has received a lot more feedback than Apple. Renders of the Quest 3 reveal a three-strap design where the side straps are responsible for holding the headset on your face while the top strap helps distribute the weight. The top strap is split in the back and which means the headset is able to cradle the back of your headset or hold a ponytail for those who need it. The pancake lenses allow for a thinner design than the Quest 2 which Meta debuted in the Quest Pro headset late last year, so we have some idea of how this will fit even without having used it. The same can be said for its controllers. Meta's controllers are well known for being lightweight and extremely ergonomic, with an array of third-party accessories to increase the illusion of holding a sword or tennis racket when gaming. Apple may not have years of public hardware feedback under its belt for this particular product, but there are few who would argue Apple's design team is not up to the job. Apple's AirPod Max headphones, for example, are heavier than most but manage to be comfortable enough to wear all day. So when Apple revealed it, its design, which includes an Apple Watch-style crown to control oculation, this lens inserts for those with a prescription and a two-side strap with a wide-angled pad in the back to hold your head. It was immediately clear the team was done its homework. A third top strap is available but as Scott Stain points out in his hands-on, is not included in any of Apple's demonstrations so far. The glass front and aluminum frame of Apple's Vision, Vision Pro headset make it possible for the design to be plenty thin which helps the overall weight combine those two and you have got a headset that will likely be pretty comfortable for many. There are no controllers for the Vision Pro. It relies entirely on eye tracking and hand gestures for its interface. But Apple showed it being used with a wireless PS5 controllers for gaming. Battery for both headsets is something of an open question. Meta has a history of releasing battery accessories to help the Headset lasts for a few more hours, but the expected life for both the Quest 2 and Quest Pro is 2 hours, so it's likely the Quest 3 will hover around the same. Apple's Vision Pro headset currently claims 2 hours of battery life when connected to the tethered battery. And it's likely there will be battery extenders available either through Apple or third parties. Currently, the average VR user spends about an hour in their headsets, but with Meta's new full-color cameras for air functionality and Apple's focus on FaceTime and other non-gaming features, it's likely that number will go up with this generation of headsets. We already know quite a bit about the processors that drive these two headsets. Qualcomm has been working with Meta to deliver increased performance without sacrificing battery life for a couple of years now and the XR2 Gen 2 promises double the performance of the Quest. Next we have after hardware is ecosystem. There have been a lot of face computers released in the last 10 years and most of the companies making them 
have long abandoned those projects having the most capable headset is not enough you need to be able to do interesting things with it it's important to remember just how small this market is compared to the mobile app stores maintained by apple and google each of those boasts will over a million apps serving an entire planet of those connected humans meta's app store description claims thousands of apps are available for its headsets but the quest section of meta's app store is gearing up to celebrate 500 apps for the quest 2 later this year there is a lot of room for competition here meta has been working for years to ensure a healthy assortment of apps and games on its platform as well as sustain your if potentially ill-advised investment in the metaverse platform horizon worlds a 10 million dollars creator fund was announced back in 2021 to help encourage development and as of this writing a third of the apps in meta app store had made over 1 million dollars the biggest category of app for the meta quest 3 will be games ranging from action titles like beat saber and interactive stories like moss 2 to horror experiences like the room vr education and exploration have a decent foot hold their tool, allowing users to explore museums and experience parts of the world they may never be able to see for themselves. When someone picks up a quest tree, there will be no shortage of answers to questions like what should I do next? So which should you buy? It's impossible to have the conversation without talking about the price. Meta Quest 3 comes in at $500 which will be likely balloon to $600 if you want to increase storage and more if you want accessories for improved battery life and when the headset will be available in the fall. It will be filled with tons of things to do and friendly to play with if that's your thing and between Zuckerberg's teaser last week and its release, you can be sure Meta will have a lot to say about what you can do with the past two cameras in the AR and hand tracking modes. It's an impressive upgrade on a headset stains. The, the best VR for now is Quest 2 review will be available months before the competition. Apple's Vision Pro is undoubtedly a unique way to experience the Apple's ecosystem as it exists today and it it is clear there are a lot of different ways to make the experience make personal. It has an elegant look and a ton of features to keep you aware of the world around you when it is needed. There is no denying this is the most advanced headset to exist so far. But as an air headset delivering something unique, it's a clear Apple is hoping that developers will help pave the way and it's a $3,500 price tag. With this price tag, Apple needs to do a lot between now and when the Vision Pro launches in 2024 to show what makes it special. Although that's all for my today's video, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned with Tech Review World.